As increased investments and economic activities take place in the country, the country's airports are seeing more passengers passing through. And this now calls for more improved services and facilities for customers and for airline operators. Although we have plans to try and improve that by putting in mezzanine floors in the terminal buildings, and departures upstairs, arrivals downstairs, it's all a matter of money and the support we get from the government and how we can manage to finance effectively these improvements, which are very much needed. And the office playing the role to provide infrastructure for airports is concerned that they will not be able to improve the airport standards if the financial support is not given to them by the government. We need money to fix this place. We need money to extend this international terminal. It's embarrassing. It's a gateway to the nation. It's not a good picture. We did what we are doing at domestic terminal, but we take note of government support. In this particular case, we were promised two million from the government to get a new uh, aero bridge. We waited, it didn't happen. So we have to resort to some arrangement to make it happen. So that's the way we're doing these things in this place. About time we make a deliberate commitment from the government to invest in the premier airport this nation. The call was also supported by the Air New Guinea Management, who is the largest provider of airline services. The way the industry is growing, I foresee by June, July next year, we will be operating three Boeing 737 aircraft. And also, who knows, the competitors may increase their frequencies or new entrants may come into the country and infrastructure is needed. Mr. Kumara Siri said the investment made for airports would not be wasted because tourism was also an industry that would bring more money into the country. But as the mining activity comes into production stage, the passenger number will go down. So the infrastructure that we invested need to be continually supported by the passengers. We can do that by developing tourism into the country. It's a sleeping giant. And that tourism can be developed only with appropriate infrastructure, with proper image to the country, and people feeling comfortable to come and have a holiday here. And all of us are part of that chain. The remarks on the importance of developing airport infrastructure and facilities were made during the opening of an aero bridge for the international terminal yesterday. The aero bridge will make it easier for passengers to move in and out of the plane and into the terminal areas. The bridge was co-funded by the National Airports Corporation and Air New Guinea. Alice Thomas, National MTV News.